Hey everybody, and welcome to your indie snapshot for today. Today, we're taking a look at a game that if even if I wanted to describe to you using words, I would probably fail in doing so. And that game is called Star Seed Pilgrim. It is currently $6 on Steam, gotten a bit of buzz around it because of its unique kind of portrayal. Um, it is a very minimalistic game in terms of graphics, in terms of gameplay, and in terms of objectives. The idea behind it is to I guess to say it's a unique spin on the puzzle platformer, but saying it's a puzzle platformer just doesn't do the game justice because though it does use puzzle platforming elements, it's more about the experience and the exploration uh, and the enjoyment that you derive from this game. It's, it's granted there's objectives with quotes, getting keys and getting to an exit so to speak, but even that's kind of abstract. Um, it's more about, like I said, experiencing this game and what it has to offer. So essentially, you are this pixelated young man here, or woman, or robot, you're not quite sure what you are. You are kind of plopped in this cube, it says, gain from loss, one does not something but broken, I can't even read it anymore. And you are basically kind of left to your own devices here. You're not really told what to do, um, it actually has zero hand holding whatsoever outside of the basic, basic tutorial where it tells you the controls of the game, and uh, you are kind of left to wander and figure things out. And through experimentation and f um, just playing the game, I figured out a good chunk of how this game works. So I'm going to hit down here and we're going to lift off to the first level. And of course, just press space to grow. So immediately you're going to see something a little bit different. We have some shapes above our head. And if I jump, you're going to see a number below us. So the idea is to plant seeds, grow blocks, and get to the keys in the level and escape the level. All the while, the blackness below you is going to slowly spread until it either reaches you or you beat the level. If you get touched by the blackness, you're going to get kind of put into this um, other world where you kind of have to just go to the exit or fall to your death and retry it. So. The important thing is, like I said, the idea behind the game is to experiment and figure things out for yourself. So all it tells you in the beginning is press space to grow. Um, so that doesn't mean anything to me if I'm just starting to play. So if I hit space, all of a sudden the shape that was closest to my head disappears, appears in the block below me, and starts growing something. And uh, what it does is grow up a blocky plant, so to speak. And each one of these shapes above my head is a very unique and specific plant that has its own unique properties. So the heart one I planted will go grow very, very slowly, but it provides more seeds because after planting that one, I'm down to nine. So if I plant this one, a little arrow, this one is a very unique one in that it grows very quickly in one random direction and will stop as soon as it hits something or grows to its maximum capacity. On the flip side, if you want to plant a seed on this particular plant, you can only plant it at the end of it. You cannot plant it on the things that have arrows. So that's useful to know. So the X one that we have here, that I'm going to plant here, also grows in kind of a random direction. But it always grows in kind of like a zigzag pattern. And uh, again, they will adapt to how the world is portrayed. So it couldn't go any more right, so it decided to go down and then uh, zigzag. So it adapts to what is in front of it. Um, so now that we have that planted, we can also plant again on this yellow one or on the green one. Let's plant the green one on the green one and see what this ends up growing for us. It is going to grow upward, it looks like. And, ah, yes, it's this one. So what this one does, it grows one up and then attempts to grow down as fast as it can on both sides. And if it can't grow down immediately, it will then keep growing to the left or the right until it can grow down. Um, but that's going to cause us a little bit of issues, because now we're going to have a situation um, where we're about to get attacked by the black gook. As you can see, it's overtaking all of our plants here, um, and that is kind of an issue uh, as far as losing this level is concerned. So um, the, the problem with the one that we planted here, as you can hear the gooky sound, it's actually not going to allow us to jump very high. So we kind of have to hope that this heart will grow quickly and we'll get plopped on top of it. There we go, and we hit the negaverse. So there, that's what happens when the black catches up to you. The key is up there, as you can see, but we weren't able to get it. So we are going to kind of jump down and uh, escape by holding H. If you hold H, you can go all the way back home. And that's generally how the game works. That is it. Left, right, up, and down. Um, and you can walk into plants by uh, hitting right twice or left twice. You can delete them or destroy them. If you press down on one, you'll destroy one. 
Um, but that's generally the gist of the game, and it is up to you to figure out how to get the keys, and then when you get the key, what do you do next? So let's see if we can get the key and I can show that to you. So, alright, now that I don't have to talk, I don't have to sit here, well, I don't have to explain the game, I don't have to sit here and kind of waste time, so I'm going to plant a heart one over here, and I'm going to plant this arrow one, which tends to grow up first, always seems to grow up first, and then grows left. I'm kind of learning how the seeds work as I play still. I understand how they work for the most part, but what may s be seemingly random isn't necessarily random. Uh, we are going to plant this green one here, and I think it's just going to grow in a very zigzag shape this way, which is fine with me. Alright, wow, that grew out a lot. It's like a weird snake-like thing. Um, what I want to do is eventually get up to here. I think what I'm going to do um, is plant another heart thing here, and then I'm going to plop down here and let this grow upward. So I can farm this if I need to. There we go. can jump up, up. And now what I have here is a blue one. The blue one, if I remember correctly, I'm going to plant here. It grows in uh, up, down, left, and right in like a musical way. Yeah, like that. <laughs> um, this other blue one that I'm going to plop down right here uh, actually only grows one, but it gives you a jump boost, which is actually really nice. Uh, actually, what I should have done with that, actually, now that I think about it, is something a little bit different, but that's fine. Uh, I am going to grow out this one here. Uh, what it should do is do a zigzag. It's going in the opposite direction, though. I did not think it was going to do that. Uh, it's going in a really interesting direction, actually. Um, I am going to plop another seed here. And I'm actually going to destroy this and grab a bunch more seeds, because we are going to need them. And I think what this yellow one is now going to grow to the left no matter what. So I need to kind of be ready for that, and I think I'm going to give it a... Actually, I'm going to plop it over here. And I can't actually plop a yellow on a yellow. Actually, good to know. I did not know that. So we're going to jump up, and we're going to jump up, up, and let's see what happens when I place it here. It's going to go to the right, so never mind. I am full of crap. All right, so one of the ones that I want... Oh, no, the Negazone. Oh, I moved too slowly. We came so close. So one of the things you can't do, unfortunately, is actually walk... Uh, and delete blocks below you. Um, one of the things I actually really like about the game is its sound design. Uh, the graphics are minimalistic, as I've said before. Uh, they don't really add anything nor take anything away from the game. They're basic and they're meant to be so. Um, it's not about looking at the game. The sound design is really one of this game's biggest strong suits. And uh, the reason I say that is because it's designed to be, I believe. Um, one of the things it does is, is, though the music in the back is very quiet, it's ominous. Um, it has this weird tone to it of, of kind of tension and, and almost giving me a little bit of anxiety at the same time. And I really like that. Each block, each plant has a specific design, or rather a specific sound attached to it as well, which I do quite like. Um, I don't like this seed at all, but I'm going to kind of do that and hope that works. We'll see how this ends up working here. So it's going to go grow down. It's the one that doesn't allow me to jump. It kind of just grows downward. It doesn't really do anything in particular to enhance anything. So I'm uh, not really worried about doing that too, too much. I'm actually going to drop another star seed over here. Ah, see, I can't even jump up a block. So going on this is actually really kind of dangerous. Um, the red one that I'm about to show you is one of my favorite blocks, but also one of the hardest to manage. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So what happens, I'm going to just sit here for a second, is that you plant this, and it's going to grow one red block up. And once you do that, you can hit space on it, and it's going to activate the block. And what happens is it starts to tick off. you got to get out of there. And it grows um, relatively, relatively large relatively quickly. And it's going to get up here. Perfect. So we are going to actually see the end here, which is going to be awesome. So bam, it's starting to grow. So we're going to jump in here, and we're going to grab the key, and now we actually might have gotten ourselves in a bit of a pickle, because it you have to land in order for this, the ground to move. Oh no, I never mind. I lied. I lied completely. So we have the key, and now we can unlock this. You're always homebound. Hold H to lose your way. Or we can just do that, and we can drop. And well, Mathis, what the hell? We're back. Yeah, well, we came back with a seed, A, which is good. Um, one of the things this game so obviously wants you to do is explore is explore and one of the things I've come to the realization of is the getting back home with seeds 
uh, going back home with seeds is actually really important. So you want to use as little seeds as you can getting to the key up top. Um, and if you can do that, you have a very good chance at, um, can we at least, no, we're not going to really get up there. And in doing that, you can, well, oh, that was horrible. We'll do this. All right, and in doing that, as I've been trying to say, um, you will be able to, oh, good lord, here it comes. Ah, oh, I really did not want that to happen. All right. Anyway, in doing that, you can bring home seeds, and you can keep, you can plant them kind of at that home world. And what, what is that home world? Why does planting seeds matter? Well, as far as I can tell, it's almost a hub world. It's my understanding and my guess that there are other seeds, uh, little planets out there for me to explore and get more keys from. On the same token, in this particular world, if we go, oops, I shouldn't have gone over here. If you go over to the right more, there's actually another key. And I'm not entirely sure what that's going to mean for me. Um, but we're going to try and grab this key here. Ah, oh, I was hoping, oh, that's right, I need to, I gotta hold age. I need to always connect it. I absolutely need to always connect it. Um, so we're gonna try one more time to get a key and bring a bunch more seeds home and see how that ends up playing out for us. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of give you my general impressions of the game. I, I'm relatively impressed, to be honest with you. For a game, it's not that expensive, too. It actually it introduces a unique and kind of creates this unique experience uh, for the player to kind of explore and enjoy. Ooh, that was actually a really good one, I think. Uh, if this thing could grow up more, that would be excellent. Um, what I'm gonna do is plant this blue one here, let these purple ones grow some more, and uh, hopefully this will grow upward. That's the plan. Yes! So now we're gonna bring home potentially four seeds. As you can see, there were more seeds up there. Uh, but we're just gonna fall straight down. Ah, uh, you can only fall so far. That's why I thought you needed the screen to move in order for that to work. So building straight up and using as little seeds as, poss as possible that way won't always work. Lesson learned. I think that's going to be... You know what? Let's try one more time. I want to give it one more shot before I give my final opinion on the game uh, so far. I've put about a half hour, 45 minutes into it before actually playing it uh, on camera for you guys. So I had a general gist of what it is. But the reason I didn't want to keep playing and learn a lot more about the game because the game is about um, kind of exploration. Uh, I think this is going to be that one. And I'm going to actually plop down, let's grab a seed here. I'm going to plop this down, let the red grow, activate it, and see if this actually works really well for me. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Planting both those seeds there. I got to get up there soon. <laughs> um, Alright, we're gonna plant this seed here and another red one here. Ah, uh, though the, that one, the pink one, is probably useless. Doing that was probably a bad idea. There we go. Got the key. Alright, we might be able to get back now. Yeah, we are. No seeds, though, I don't think. I'm not able to bring any home. I came back with no seeds. Ah, oh, silly me. I should have just kept exploring on the, in that planet and trying to do uh, other things. But oh well, whoops. My final opinion on the game is that it's definitely worth it if you're into this type of artistic experience. Um, again, it's a game in the simplest of terms, uh, and again, and it, and it, the gameplay elements are, are there for it to be a game, but it's not about playing and beating it. Uh, very similar to other games that are, are about playing it and experiencing it, Antichambers 1, um, though more of a game than this is. It's more about the experience of playing the game. Um, Proteus is, is a good example. The gameplay elements are there, but it's more about the experience and the journey. And this is very much about the journey and learning what's going on, why the sky is potentially falling, how you can help. Um, there are definitely story elements along the way, by the way. I have looked that up, and it's worth checking out. Absolutely worth checking out. This is your type of thing. So, um, though while the gameplay elements are simplistic, I wouldn't say they detract from the overall experience, especially what it's trying to be. Uh, it's not trying to be the next Mario. It's trying to be, uh, like I said, a journey, an experience. Um, one of the things that I, I, I kind of like and don't like at the same time is that the seeds themselves seem to act in a rel relatively, for the most part, some of them, uh, act in a random manner. But the more you play, you, the more you understand that though the yellow one may grow in a random direction, you will learn it will always grow in a straight line no matter that direction. So... Um, you know, even though it may seem random, um, you will learn it. On the other hand, the thing I really do like about the game is that it's not hand-holdy at all. It is about learning to get, 
uh, learning the game through kind of blind play and uh, experiencing and and, and um, exploring the world as you do so. So uh, again, for six bucks, I don't think you can really go wrong if you have six bucks to kind of just throw out on a, on a really kind of if you're looking to throw out on a really unique and interesting game. I think Starseed Pilgrim you could do worse. Uh, definitely not. Uh, a bad purchase at all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the indie snapshot for today, and I will see you next time.